effect of concentration on rates of reaction. We are familiar with the fact that there are five factors that affect the rates of reaction. They are nature of reactants, concentration, temperature, catalyst, and radiation. We have discussed the effect of temperature on rates of reaction in a separate video. I will put a link to it on the bottom of the page and also on the right side of this slide. In this video, we will be focusing on the effect of concentration on rates of reaction. What happens before the reaction should happen? There should always be a collision. And if the molecules have the right amount of energy and if they have a proper orientation, the collision should lead to the formation of products. An increase in collision is equal to increase in the rate of reaction. Collision theory can be used to explain the factors or the rates of reaction. So, an increase in concentration always increases the number of collisions. This is again stated as the law of mass action, where we state that the rate of a reaction is directly proportional to the product of the concentration of the reactants. In this video, we will be seeing the relationship between concentration and the slope of a tangent showing us the rate of a reaction. So this is a graph of concentration versus time. And this is the change that we have seen with time. And the point at which we are going to draw a tangent is represented by the highest concentration. The slope of this line, which can be calculated by looking at the rise and run, will give us the rate of the reaction. Slope is rise over run. Rise is concentration, which is moles per liter. And run is time. So concentration over time is rate. So every time we determine the slope of a reaction or slope of a tangent, we are determining the rate of a reaction. Let's see what will happen if you decrease the concentration. As time progresses, the concentration of the reactants are going to decrease. And here, the slope of a line, if you look the rise over run, the angle theta or tan theta is opposite by adjacent, the slope of the line will decrease as the concentration decreases. Now we can draw a tangent at a different concentration where the concentration is still lower and you will see that the angle keeps on decreasing or the slope of the line keeps on decreasing with decreasing concentration. And one more time, we find for a very low concentration, the rate of reaction is very low or the slope of the line is very, very small. So this in effect is what we see when we change the concentration or we monitor the concentration for a chemical reaction where the concentration of the reactants are decreasing. This is what we refer to as the effect of concentration on rates of reaction and this can be rationalized using collision theory or the law of mass action. Here I've just represented the relationship between rates and concentration. So I've just uh, shown you the graph. Here I have a comparison for the rate of a reaction for a very low concentration. As the con concentration increases, the rate of the reaction keeps on increasing. So that's a relationship that we have established in this video. That's it for now.